oh, the chemist in me was like triggered, like really, really triggered. Overload of skincare ingredients. Like, what is that? That's already a red flag. Oh, why? Why? Ugh triggered hey guys welcome to another video my name is april this is your first time here i'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and I talk about all things skincare back end front end of all things skincare so if you're interested in skincare you want to know the science behind skincare definitely like this video subscribe to this channel join the family because we're all about skincare here as you guys can tell from the title today we're going to be talking about another k-beauty brand this is my second k-beauty brand to make its debut on my channel if you haven't seen my first k-beauty brand review it's going to be linked up here definitely check that out today we're going to be talking about Cozyrx this one has been brought to my attention multiple times in my comments in my dms so I'm really excited to talk about this brand today I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to learn more about this brand so jumping right into this video I'm going to be going in order of skincare application process starting from cleanser all the way to sunscreen the cleanser I picked out from the billion cleansers they had on their website was the salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser really quick overview on the brand i noticed a lot of their products had very minimal ingredients which i appreciate in this day and age of overload of skincare ingredients i just love a really really small ingredient list it just makes my heart happy as a chemist it's just every chemist's dream, okay? <laughs> because really and truly, only the first seven, maybe 10 ingredients are what's really working in the formula. So it's really, really great to see a brand that, you know, has really latched onto this and that's really executing with their products. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna be talking about today is the Sounds Like Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. This one is priced at $13. The price is actually a really affordable. I didn't really see anything that was like over 20 bucks. Just know that going into this review that a lot of their products are pretty affordable. First thing I noticed with this cleanser though is that it has a really high alkaline pH. It has a pH of 9 to 9.5. And if you guys know, the pH of our skin is between 4.5 to 5.5. So it's way off of what our skin's natural pHs doesn't mean it's a bad thing it is a cleanser so it doesn't really have to match our skin pH because it is a wash off product so that shouldn't really be too much of a bother but it's just something to keep in mind as far as ingredients nothing really stood out to me in this cleanser a lot of their surfactants were very similar to the surfactants in the Purito products they have a lot of coconut based surfactants so again if you have contact irritation with coconut based formulas this is definitely not a product for you so just be aware of that and like I said they have tons of other cleansers on their website so you might want to look into other cleansers and see which one's best for you but as far as I know a lot of k-beauty brands have this coconut based surfactants in their products just an FYI the next product I'll be talking about is their toner centella water alcohol free toner I noticed the centella which if you watch my last video I talked about centella centella is an herb that grows mainly in Asia it helps with wound healing and it's also a great um, antioxidant boosting ingredient it's pretty common in a lot of their products I guess is unique to Asian formulas because obviously centella only grows in Asia so it makes sense the pH of this toner though I noticed it is at six to seven which is not the natural skin pH it's more on that neutral line which the job of a toner is to bring back your skin's natural pH so if this toner is not bringing back your skin natural pH of 5.5 then I do not recommend it I do think that the toner should do its job of bringing back that natural skin pH and if it's not then it's not a worthy product to have other than that it does have pentanol which is a great humectant sodium hyaluronate which is a great humectant as well I mean it's a toner it should be hydrating to the skin but I do not like that it doesn't have that skin pH level that we're looking for another toner I want to talk about is your AHA BHA clarifying toner this one is more at that skin pH of four to five so I will recommend this toner versus the other toner it also has more soothing ingredients like elantoin as well as your AHA and BHA which is always great for removal of dead skin cells all right so moving on to serum I picked out this retinol serum which is actually sold out on their website I wasn't impressed with the price point of this one though it is at $29 which I will explain why I'm not impressed I was really actually triggered by this product Oh, the chemist in me was like triggered, like really, really triggered by this product. And I'll explain in a second. It does have a pH level of 3 to 0.5 to 4. And if you guys know anything about retinol products, the more acidic the pH level, the better the retinol will work in that product. So I'm happy with this. Now it says infuse the retinol derivatives to breathe life into tired, dull skin. First of all, there's nothing like retinol derivatives. Like what is that? I know there's a retinoid 
derivatives. When it comes to retinoids, there's retinol palmitate, there's retinaldehyde, there's retinoic acid, there's retinol. All of these are under the family of retinoids. So there's no retinol derivatives. So that's already a red flag, okay? And then when I'm looking at the ingredient list, I'm like, okay, let me just find out that they are using a low grade retinol here. And of course they are using retinol palmitate. I literally was like, oh, like why? Why? <laughs> What's the purpose of this? Why would you sell a product at $29, advertise it as a retinol serum, and then use retinol palmitate? Like, the hoax of it all. Ugh, triggered. This product is absolutely 1000% unrecommended by me. Please do not buy this product. It is a scam, and you will not get any retinol benefits from this product. It's crazy that it's sold out. I'm so shook that it's sold out. Please save your coins and stay away from this product. All right, moving on to their moisturizer. I picked out this one called the Hydrium Triple Hyaluronic Moisture Ampule. That's a lot of words. <laughs> a lot of words this one is the price of 26 dollars which is eh, okay it's clearly a hydrating moisturizer it has a lot of hyaluronic acid derivatives like sodium hyaluronic hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid is just packed with hydration so for my dry skin people you're gonna be loving this product am i too impressed not really i wish there was an active because it's a moisturizer so we need it to perform even more on our skin so for that reason i'm not too in love with it however being the product that you would love to give your skin a lot of hydration then this product is definitely worth looking into all right the last and final product i'm talking about is their sunscreen their physical sunscreen the shield fit all green comfort sun spf 50 plus pa plus 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 they couldn't have used any more pluses. I'm sure you're wondering what the heck is PA++++++. So PA basically tells you the amount of protection you'd be getting from UVA rays. UVA rays are the rays that goes into your skin and causes your skin to tan. They're the ones that ultimately would lead to things like skin cancer and just other skin conditions. Typically SPF factor in a sunscreen just tells you UVB protection, the UV ray that burns the skin and causes redness. PA started back in 96 in Japan actually. They started Started putting this PA factor to tell you how much UVA protection you're getting. PA plus with one plus means you don't really have much UVA protection. PA plus plus means middle. PA plus 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 and up means you get a lot of UVA protection. This is a good thing. Does that mean other sunscreens that don't have PA don't protect you from UVA? That's false. I can attest to how much UVA protection you'd be getting from those other sunscreens, but that doesn't necessarily tell whether or not you're getting protected from UVA rays because sunscreens are regular by the FDA and if you wear it and have it broad protection from those other sunscreens they would not market it as that. They also have a chemical sunscreen called Halosudine Sun Cream SPF 50 PA with three pluses. That one's at $12. That one's also broad spectrum. I wanted to just mention this one really quickly because it has three pluses. Does not mean it gives you less UVA protection? It gives you just as much UVA protection. Matter of fact a lot of sunscreen brands used to only have three pluses but now they've increased it up to four just don't worry about the pluses too much just as long as you know for a fact that you're getting uva protection is all that matters i think that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please leave me a thumbs up comment below what you think of cosrx have you used any of the products i mentioned if you have definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments below let's have a conversation about this brand i'm really excited to be introduced to this brand i really 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 like their products and i love their minimalistic approach because that's pretty rare these days in this money grabbing economy that we are when it comes to skincare make sure to check out the rest of my other skincare videos at the end of this video i have tons of amazing content for you guys on my channel that you can check out and stay in touch with me see you guys next time bye